Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have the Disco and the Double Tube Kit from Airgun Lab as well as the modified stock from Disco's R Us and we are going to show you how to install it. Let's get to it. Alright guys, so as you can see I have the Disco here. I have taken the liberty to remove the front sight and muzzle brake piece. We're just going to set that aside. You are going to need that if you don't have a muzzle brake for the gun. So we are going to start by removing the safety. Alright, so to remove the safety, there is a little pin behind the trigger. You want to just work your way behind that pin with either a wire, I'm using an Allen key in this case, and you just pull that forward and the safety drops right out, as you can see there. Very easy to do. You want to set that aside, just take your screwdriver, unscrew that bolt, nice and easy, flip everything over, screw drops right out set that aside as well and then you're just going to simply remove your stock from your action you're going to set your stock aside as you can see this is unmodified natural stock we have our modified stock from Disco's R Us waiting to be installed the next thing we need to do is remove the male foster fitting. You need a 9 16 deep weld socket. You are going to need the deep one to get around the fill connector. Just put that on there. Just doing it the easy way here. Once you remove it enough, it should come out just fine. Now, I forgot to mention, before you start this process, you want to make sure the gun is fully degassed. If it is not degassed, you're definitely going to have an issue right here as pressure is going to build behind this. Okay, so if you feel this uh, being tight at all as you are trying to remove it, you want to make sure you screw it back in and figure out what is wrong. You may need to fire the gun down a few times. That's all all right. As you take that out, you are going to set this aside. You're not going to need it. We are going to replace it, as I will show you in just a second, because it does not have a connection to fill both tubes. It only has the connection for the one. You're also going to want to remove the barrel band on the gun and that is done by just simply loosening the grub screws with the proper allen key. Only two grub screws on this. And you just slide it right off and there you go. You will not need this either. As you can see, we have a new one from Airgun Lab as provided with the double tube kit. Now you're going to take an eighth inch Allen key and you are going to loosen the transfer screw, which is this screw right here. Now you don't want to remove this screw as you will probably displace the check valve screw. So you just want to loosen it up enough to give you some wiggle room. As you can see, I can turn this freely. What I want to do now is just unscrew this. That was good. So as you can see, we have it unscrewed. There is an O-ring in there. You want to make sure everything that's on this end stays intact, okay? So we are just going to set this aside. Next, what you're going to do is you are going to install this into your current tube. So you can push it in until the threading and then you're going to want to thread it in there. Rather easy to get it going for the first little bit. Alright guys, so once you get that on there tight, you're going to want to take wrench as this is slotted on both sides and you're just going to want to make sure it is straight in alignment with the barrel 
Uh, it is recommended that you take something and put it through there just to see if it is aligned properly. A 1030 second screw is going to actually fit that hole perfectly if you have one. So as you can see, we are lined up straight. Now, it, there's also you're also going to have a little gap here in between the end and the tube itself. And that's all right because we have the O-ring there is actually going to seal despite the fact that there is a bit of a gap. Now, next what we do is we are going to take our second tube and simply line everything up. Now, as you can see, we're going to need that eighth inch Allen key again. And we are just going to screw it in. Now as you go, you are going to feel some resistance. And that is from the screw compressing the O-rings. And that is all fine. That is what you want to happen. Alright, so you make sure that is all tightened down nice and good. And then we're going to put the stock on. Here we have the stock from Disco's R Us, Norm Morin. And it is, this is a 7th, 8th, 7 8 diameter cut right here. And it allows you to put your double tube in, as you will see here in a second. As you can see, your double tube fits very easily in there without any gaps, really. And the beautiful thing about this is it doesn't change your eye alignment at all. So now, now we are going to reinstall the stock screw. sure that's good and tight. No need to over tighten it. Just make sure it's tight. And then we are going to reinstall our safety. Alright, so now we have our safety back installed. As you can see, functions perfectly. Safety is on right now. And lastly, we are going to put on our new fill covers. Reinstall our muzzle brake, which I will do off camera. And then before you reinstall that muzzle brake, you're going to want to put your new barrel band on. So you just slide it over to whatever position you like. Mine seem to be shooting well with the original barrel band down here, so I'll give that another try. And then you just tighten that down, and then we'll air her up. Alright guys, we have our freshly completed Disco Double, and we are going to fill it now. I have my 66 cubic foot 4500 PSI tank. Let's connect it up. Just pull off the protective cap covering your fill cup, covering your foster fitting. Take your hose. Snap it right on. We're going to watch that gauge right there. Fill pressure is 2,000 PSI. Now you want to fill it as slowly as possible here. As you're filling it from empty, it is going to heat up a little bit. 
There you can see. We're just shy of 2,000 PSI. Let's check what the gun's reading. There you can see the gun is reading just about 2,000 PSI. Coming back to the, the gauge here, you can see it's fallen just a tad. See if we can squeeze a little more air into it. There we go, we are securely at 2,000, and we're going to bleed it off. Now we want to disconnect our hose. The tubes are a little warm to the touch, so I expect pressure to drop. Uh, maybe one or two hundred PSI overnight. As I said, these kits are pressure tested to 3200 PSI. And we will see what happens in the morning. Hey guys, so I just pulled out the Disco double tube after it was sitting for 24 hours or so. And as you can see, the fill is at the same pressure, right around 18 or 1900 PSI. Alright guys, so the disco double tube is complete and we're going to go shoot her now. And as you can see, the stock on this done by Norm at Disco's RS is really, really fine. The double tube kit has so far has uh, held air, so we're going to go see how many shots she gives us and at the next video we'll take a look at the numbers, alright? Thanks guys.